In about 30 minutes, I'll be hitting the trail for the first time on my Trek Dual Sport 1. Made me start thinking. I haven't checked the tire pressure since I purchased this bike, which was about two weeks ago. And I've put over 50 miles on the bike. Probably need to check it. I only have the plug-in type air or tire inflators. So I decided I wanted something with a little more control. I zipped by the bike shop and I left with this. A Bontrager Charger floor pump. Let's take a look at it. There's not too much you can say about a tire pump. Either they work or they don't. And the gauges, you know, gauges are gauges. They kind of, you rate them against one another rather than what they actually say. I'll use an electronic tire gauge to gauge how well it works, but let me just give you a look at this thing if you were possibly considering purchasing one. As a matter of fact, let me get this light over here so we can see just a little bit better. On the top, the handle actually has a Bontrager logo, that, that Beats looking ripoff logo. And then of course on the tube, and this is a metal tube, polymer handle, the shaft here is metal, you got a clip that holds on your inflator tube with a really nice, very good, good, I don't know if you call this a socket or what the actual tire inflator term is for this, but this actually is really nice quality, better than I was expecting. But you have, again, your Bontrager branding going down on this metal white tube. And then on the back side here, it says charger, which is the model of this pump. You have a, I believe this is metal floor stand. Yeah, this is a metal floor stand. Probably not the best thing for my wood floors, but it was only 39 bucks. Again, Bontrager logo there. And these are good twist in cables so you can replace them if you need. And then you'll see there that you've got a Bontrager branded pressure gauge and then from the shop you see it came all scuffed up there but there is the unconditional bond trigger guarantee there's the item number the price I paid for it and you can read any of that that you want to read but basically you just set it on the floor put your feet on the two sides hook it up and pump and go so let me check my tire pressure and I'll see if I can video that. I don't know how well it'll work out. By the way, that is a Presta Schrader branded little end piece. Okay, let's see if we can get this on. We'll see how well this goes on. I missed that, didn't I? Okay, that does not like me at all. Huh, okay. Well, that's totally backwards to everything I've ever used. You have it down to put it on, then you flip it up to lock it in place. Whatever. Okay, and according to this, I have about 45 pounds of pressure in my tires. Let's see how well you can see this. Yeah, not very much at all compared to what it should be. It should be between 60 and 80. From what I've read, everyone uses about 70. And then goes down to about 65 if you're going to ride trails. Let me go get my digital tire pressure gauge and let's compare it. I have my trusty Craftsman tire pressure gauge. Let's see if I can get this. According to this, it is at 46.5 PSI, which is roughly what that told me. I mean, it's an analog gauge, so it's a little more difficult to read analog gauges when you get down to individual units. So, uh, pretty close. I'm, well, I like that. But again, a little backwards. To put it on, it is down. You'd think, you know, you'd open it and then lock it, but actually down to put it on and then lock it in place by pulling it vertically. Yeah, there we go. And let's just look again up close because we know 46.5 and this is saying, let's see, two, four, 
6, 8, 10. So this is saying right almost at, I mean, it's going to look a little skewed because of the direction you're looking at. But it's telling me that I'm right at about 44 PSI. So close enough for a little $39 pump. Get this camera repositioned. And let's try to get this pumped up here. See what one pump did. I can't quite see it. Let me get a little closer. It looks like each pump's gonna add about two and a half PSI. Try again. See what it added. Yeah, about two and a half to three PSI per pump. You can't see this, but man, this thing extends about as long as that tube is. And it pushes very well. I don't know if you can hear it. It sounds like an old antique something or other. Okay, I'm almost at 60. So I think I'm going to go up to about 65. Or 65 on this gauge and it looks like I'm about there I think that's pretty darn close so let me take it off now, according to the gauge I am at okay maybe about 68 psi is what I'm at right now according to this gauge so let's take this off get the craftsman Wow, look at that, 68. Okay, so apparently this gauge actually works. I am super impressed. Let's go to the back tire and see if that was an anomaly or if that's how things actually work with this pump. Well, I forgot to hit record while I did all this, but I got it without knocking the bike off, aired this up. It was about the same as the front tire, which was, it was 46.5, I think it was when I checked it with the Craftsman gauge. So they were low. I have aired it up to a very good 68, actually this one is at 69 now, using the Bontrager and Checking the gauge, I mean, it, again, this gauge is pretty much dead on, which is something I didn't expect for a $39 pump. But I wanted to show you, let me unclip this. I've clipped everything back in place here. I wanted to show you, if I can get a view of this, just how high up this handle comes. Watch this. Okay, now it's up. Look at that. That is almost the entire length of that tube. Very impressive. But that is the Bontrager Charger floor pump. 39 bucks at your local Trek dealer. Very happy that I purchased this. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.